Welcome back to County Connection. For this next segment, we are going to stick on the topic of healthy eating and nutrition. And Whitney is back in the studio with us again. Uh, Whitney, who is the Whitney Smith, the coordinator of the Supplemental Nutrition Program for Women, Infants, and Children, which Got is it. part of the Public Health Department at Summit County Government. Mm -hmm. Welcome back, Whitney. Thank you. So, Whitney, why don't you start off with giving an overview of what WIC is? Mm -hmm. So, a lot of people know WIC. We are a huge program all throughout the nation and we really are focused on growing healthy families. We serve pregnant women, postpartum women, breastfeeding women, infants and kids up to the age of five, but we're really involved with the entire family of trying to teach these families how to live healthier lifestyles in their home. A lot of people know WIC as a program that offers WIC checks and that's something we're gonna talk a little bit more about. Uh -huh. But we do offer food benefits for our families. It is for low income families and the food benefits that we provide are trying to hit on each of the five food groups. So what we try to do is give a little something from each of the five food groups. I like to think of them more as the basics, but so that way our low income families get their um, paycheck freed up where they're not buying the milk and some of the fruits and the vegetables and just basic staples that you need for your kitchen each month. Okay. We try to help them out with groceries. Excellent. All right, and so you have a new exciting development at mm -hmm. WIC in that regard of helping families buy those basic essentials at the grocery store. Tell us what's going on with that. Yes. So as of um, the beginning of October, we went live switching over to these eWIC debit cards. And it's a really exciting time for WIC families because the debit cards give a lot more freedom while shopping. In the past, we were actually working with paper checks. And families, if a mom was pregnant and she had a one-year-old and also a four-year-old, she would get this whole pile of checks and each check has to be cashed individually. Okay. So now with the cards, we're able to issue the entire family's benefits onto a card and they no longer have to purchase everything that's on the check. If she forgot a gallon of milk and she needs that to go cook dinner, she can run to the store, use her WIC card, and then be on her way without having to worry about getting everything on the checks. So it's a lot more versatile for the families. And it's just really exciting because we are finally moving away from paper, which is a great thing. Excellent. So easier for everybody. Mm -hmm. um, so where can families use their eWIC cards? We have four stores that participate with WIC up here in Summit County, City Market Breck, City Market Dillon, Safeway, and we also have Target on board. Um, there's stores all throughout Colorado. Colorado WIC is all interconnected. So if I have a family that's going down to Denver for a week to stay with extended family, they can also go to participating stores in Denver. So any store that participates with WIC, you can use your benefits at within Colorado. Great. Um, so you, so this sounds a lot easier. Um, mm -hmm. So why is this such an important shift to get away from paper and onto these electronic cards? Um. I am a big believer in our program. People that know me, I live and breathe WIC. It's not just about the food benefits, so the cards isn't the most exciting thing. We're also a breastfeeding support and a nutrition education program. Um, and I think WIC is amazing. One thing that I know has been really trying on families is some of that stigma of needing assistance. WIC is there not to just buy groceries, it's there to just promote healthy families and nobody should look down upon it. A really cool thing about WIC is it is a low income program, but if I were to lose my job tomorrow and I became pregnant, I would qualify. Okay. It could be anybody that qualifies for WIC just based off of a job loss or a layoff. Um, it's not just this one kind of body of people that we think needs the service. The latest statistic is one out of every two kids born in the U.S. was associated with WIC at some time or another. Oh, wow. Whether that's just for a couple months while mom is pregnant or when they're four because dad lost a job or whatnot, um, military families also qualify for WIC. Um, but the thing about WIC with the paper checks is people knew that that family was on WIC. They had to take their checks to the store. It was a longer process in the store because if they were using three checks, that that's three transactions. People get, we all want to get in and get out when we go to the store. Definitely. So sometimes you would see those checks and not really want to stand behind that family because you know you're going to be waiting a little while. Mm -hmm. With the eWIC card, nobody knows you're on WIC. 
it's definitely nothing that you should be ashamed of. We've all reached out for help in the past, and I think it's an amazing program. But it's nice to keep your life personal. And if you need to use WIC, use a simple swipe of your card in the store. Nobody knows. Because right. we really have lost a lot of families in the past just not wanting to use the checks in the store because it can't be cumbersome. Right. And that does sound like a cumbersome process if you're having to cash three separate checks just to mm -hmm. pay for your groceries. Exactly. So the ease of the card is incredible. And we're really excited just to make it um, so that the families are comfortable and that the shopping experience is just a shopping experience because that's all it should be. All right. And so for um, folks who are interested in maybe exploring this particular service or WIC in general, or mm -hmm. if they know someone who might benefit from your services, uh, how can they get in touch with you? I think my number is flashing at the bottom of the screen right now. That would be awesome. Um, I can talk all things WIC at any time, so always feel free to call me. We also have a Colorado... Um, sorry, Summit County Public Health on our website. There's a specific page for WIC and that lists how to contact us, everything that we offer. And then the Colorado State Department, if you just type in Colorado WIC on your top, what is that thing called? In your browser. In your browser, um, that will take you to our state site and there's a plethora of information. All of our nutrition education materials, there's a video about how to use eWIC. It talks about our breastfeeding support resources and it just goes on and on and on and on. Excellent. All right. Well, and anything that we haven't hit on, Whitney, that you want to cover on this topic? I don't think so. All right. If you qualify for WIC, I would love to see you. <laughs> All right. Well, thanks for coming in today uh, and doing a little bit of a County Connection Marathon with us. Yes, uh, thanks for having me. And, uh, and thanks for all of that great work that you do out in our community to Thank keep families you. healthy. Awesome. Thanks. We're going to take a quick break, and when we come back, we're going to talk about all the different ways that you can participate in the 2016 election.